Hello, everybody. Welcome to edition of Mr. D says, um, UTED versus Western Kentucky didn't really end up the way we thought. You know, uh, actually met a lot of friends at a local bar. We're having a good time. We're celebrating. UTED was kicking some ass. But all of a sudden, for some reason, the coaches decided, hey, you know what? Let's make it kind of cute. I mean, the run is pretty much what we've been doing all year. Run was working well in the game. It's a little pass. Yeah, pass ended up being pick six. Game changer. That's what it was. What really stings about this game is I know we're way better than Western Kentucky. There's no doubt. It's kind of funny. You know, uh, I, I, uh, I had a pretty decent amount of views, but once Western Kentucky won, all oh, the views went up. And all of a sudden, the Western Kentucky fans showed up. They were showing up out of, out of the woodwork. They're like trying to explain to me what a hilltopper was. I don't even give a fuck what a hilltopper is. All right? Do me a favor. All you motherfuckers, all right? The, I know you guys had your... The stands looked to me about eh, the three, 4,000 of you motherfuckers over there drinking the moonshine and whiskey. All you guys do me a favor. Walk up that hilltop that you guys are talking about. I don't know. How, how big is this hilltop? That's what I want to know. Where is this hilltop at in Bowling Green? I have no fucking idea. Someone explain that to me. You guys walk up, all right? All of you, in line. All you guys are going to get together and you're going to fucking dig the biggest fucking hole you can. It's going to take a little bit of time. But that's why you got your mama's whiskey and your mama's burp. You guys drink it up. Pretty soon that hole's going to be big enough. One by one, you throw yourselves in that hole, okay? Unfortunately, there's got to be one hilltopper left to tell the story, tell the tale of the demise of the hilltopper fans. He's going to bury you guys. Pretty much... Put you where you belong. It's funny also, you know, I was seeing comments. They're like, oh man, we hey man, we owned you in fucking football. We're going to beat that ass too in basketball. Really, bro? You really think you're going to beat our ass in basketball? You know, it's it's a different subject I'm going to talk about just for a sec. Okay, because I'm going to give respect to you to football. But just for a sec, talk about a basketball team. We're going to smoke that fucking ass. And look, after we smoke that ass, I'm going to book a flight over there to Bowling Green. I know there's not much to do, but drink some fucking whiskey and bourbon. I'm going to fucking go get all fucked up. Once I'm all fucked up, I'm going to get to see that fucking flag that's in back of me. I'm going to get that flag. That flag pull you guys have on top of that fucking supposed big fucking hilltop. I'm going to get your fucking red flag. Yank it down. Put that orange crush on top. You know why I'm going to do it? Because we own that ass. I pretty much, you know what? I don't want to talk about Western Kentucky anymore. You know, fuck them. All right? Props to you guys for winning. No, no, seriously, no. Fuck you. We'll get you in basketball. Next up, North Texas. Oh, North Texas claim to fame. Everybody knows what North Texas claim to fame is. Mean Joe Green. Yes. Oh, the meet and greet with Mean, with mean Joe Green. It's funny, you know, I know North Texas draws about 15, maybe 2,000 fans of football game. You know, you guys are doing pretty good last year. You guys made a bowl game. You know, you guys, uh... Ah, you guys fucking kicked our ass last year. You know, fuck you, man. But you know, this year is a different year. We're going to smoke that ass. Word on the street is Mean Joe Green is contracted to go to every fucking North Texas game. All right? They got Will Mean there. He's fucking depressed. He's like, man, why did I have to go fucking to North Texas? I hate my life. He wants to die. He hates being fucking from North Texas. So, you know what? Enough of that. You know, I want to talk about one more thing. Attendance. Attendance is a big thing. I know after you took loss, all, all the... All the naysayers, all the negative fucking motherfuckers are like, I fucking told you, UTEP suck, bro. Yeah, fuck them. I'm glad I don't go to any football games. Like, do me a favor. I know there's going to be like 17, 18,000 diehards in the stands. I don't care, man. I don't care if it's 100 of us. We know we're going to rock that shit. We don't care. All you motherfuckers. Look, if you've never been to a UTEP football game this year, and you guys are talking shit, like, if you're talking shit, on, uh, on Steve Kaplowitz's radio show, you know, on Sports Talk, you guys are all talking shit. Do me a favor. This is what you're going to do. You're going to sit down, and you're going to shut the fuck up, because you have no business talking about UTEP football. If you've never been to a game, it's not your team, bro. It's not your team. Go root for New Mexico State. Do something like that. But get the fuck off the airway. You don't want to hear that shit no more. We're tired of it. You want a prediction? UTEP by 10 points, and they will get that way. They will win two out of three, and we will get to a goal. That's all I got. Thank you very much for watching. Ah!